New details now on the investigation into that man. Cesar Sayoc, who is expected back in court this Friday. His lawyers argue he should be released on bond. Tonight, CBS 4's Kerry Codd gives us an inside look at the government's argument for keeping him locked up. Federal prosecutors insist the evidence against accused serial bomb sender Caesar Sayoc is overwhelming. The FBI says they have fingerprint evidence matching Sayoc to at least two of the envelopes containing bombs sent to critics of President Trump. And now we've learned from this federal court filing, filed late Tuesday, that prosecutors say they have extensive DNA evidence against Sayoc as well, writing that Sayoc's DNA was found on components from 10 of the IEDs. In the letter, federal prosecutors are trying to convince a judge that Sayoc needs Needs to remain locked up in jail until his trial. Sayak is accused of targeting at least 15 victims with the bomb sent through the U.S. mail. And Sayak reportedly had a list of 100 other names of potential victims. The feds say Sayak made the bombs, which did not have a trigger mechanism, in the van he was living in. A van that was plastered with images praising President Trump, as well as images of his alleged targets, including Hillary Clinton and President Barack Obama. Inside the van, the feds say they recovered multiple electronic devices of Sayak's, including his laptop. Investigators also wrote in the letter to the federal judge about Sayok's internet searches for his victims, including terms like George Soros and family, Hillary Clinton and family, James Clapper, wife and kids, Eric Holder, wife and kids, John Brennan, wife and kids. In the letter to the federal judge, prosecutors cited Sayok's arrest in 2002 for making a bomb threat against FPL. The feds say Sayok was arrested numerous times and showed a lack of respect for court orders and are afraid that if Sayok is released on bond, he might run. Ultimately, they believe Sayok is a substantial danger to the community, a substantial flight risk, and that pretrial detention is appropriate. And according to federal prosecutors in this letter, the only thing that prevented Sayok from carrying out his attacks was his arrest here in Plantation and his subsequent incarceration. Sayok will have a bond hearing on Friday in Miami. Prosecutors want him to be held with no bond, and they want him to be transferred immediately to New York as he will face charges there if convicted Sayok faces decades in prison. In Plantation Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.